Hey there, Alessandra Everett here, and I wanted to shoot a video update from the Insanity Progress. So, uh, yesterday was uh, day 36, and the only reason I know that is because we had to take another fit test. Um, I think I gave, um, well, it's been about uh, two weeks since I did an update from the fit test. So, here we go. I'm going to put my glasses on here because the glare... Uh, in my office right now. It's pretty bad, but anywho. Okay, so um, for fit, death, fit test number three is where we were, and I'm just, you know, reading my results here. So the first exercise, and there's a total of eight exercises. So the first one is switch kicks. Now, my first fit test, I did 32, and um, on day 36, I did 45. Um, for the next exercise is power jacks, and I did 53 power jacks uh, day one. Now, uh, for fit test day two, uh, fit test number two, which was day 15, I only did 48, and then for uh, fit test number three, I did 54. Um, then the next one is power knees. Um, for fit test number one, I did 85, and fit test number three, I did 103. For number four uh, exercises, power jumps, I fit test day one, I did 20, and fit test number three, I did 30. And then there, uh, exercise number five is globe jumps. Um, so fit test day one, I did eight, and fit test number three, I did 10. Um, the exercise number six is suicide jumps. F uh, fit test number one, I did three, and fit test... Uh, number three, I did 12. And, ooh, I was tired after that, y'all. Uh, number seven, exercises, push-up jacks. Fit test number one, I did zero. Um, fit test two, I couldn't do them. I could do, I did three regular push-ups. Um, but for fit test number three, I was able to do five push-up jacks. So I'm very excited about that. So I went from zero to be able, being able to do five um, on day 36. And uh, exercise number eight, which is a low plank oblique, fit test number one, I did 22, and fit test number three, I did 56. Um, as far as the the weight loss, on, on the last update, I was telling you that my husband had lost, you know, he's lost about 13 pounds, and I had lost two. Um, but the change that I made is I started taking the vitamins and I showed you those in the last video and they're uh, some sort of metabolism formula. But anyway, so I started taking those a week ago and I lost three pounds in a week. So, um, the vitamins, I don't know what's in them, <laughs> but they definitely help with the weight loss. So again, if weight loss is your goal, then I highly recommend um, using them. They are good vitamins. They have a lot of nutrients in them. Um, but, you know, if weight loss really is a concern for you, then I would highly suggest taking them. Now, for me, the goal with this insanity is really to increase my strength and endurance. And the thing about it is, is that going through this, we have gone through the first four weeks and we have completed the uh, what was called the core recovery week. And now we are tonight, we're getting ready to start the max week, uh, the max training for the next four weeks. Um, so I'll have to you know update you on that. But for the core recovery, it is less cardio and more strength and endurance to where you are holding and really uh, toning muscles and holding positions and stuff. And so you're not doing as much cardio, but you are getting the workout and where you're, you're really working on strengthening the muscles. And you know, even though it's a core, core recovery week, it was still um, very difficult to get through. But the main thing I want to uh, share with you in this video is that with insanity, you don't get any less tired. Um, I was really wondering, you know, how am I doing? How has this benefiting me? You know, am I really getting anywhere? Because like on all the exercises, I'm freaking tired. I'm not like getting through the workouts. You know, I'm still having to stop and rest and all that stuff. But the thing about it is that you are, it doesn't matter where you are in the program. You're still going to have to stop and rest if you're pushing yourself. So it's not that 
you aren't doing better. You're still doing better. You just don't know it. And that's the importance of the fit test for me. I don't know if you can see my little scorecard there. They give you this scorecard to track your um, your fit test. But the thing about it is, um, is that it doesn't get any easier because you're able to endure longer. You're able to do more reps. And so nuts and bolts is insanity will never get old because it's not like your body gets used to it. And then you, um, you know, you're not getting any benefit from the workout. Your endurance is increasing. Your strength is increasing. And so you're able to do more and do it longer. So um, I'll have to get back with you after we do our, uh, we're doing our max circuit training tonight. And oh yeah. And the thing about it is going from the beginning, the first month through the core recovery on the max training, which is the back end of the 60 day uh, workout program is that the workouts get longer. So in the beginning, they start out being 30, 40 minutes long. And um, on the back end, on the max training, then they go up to about an hour. Um, but so we're, we're going to see how that works out. But as far as me physically, I feel a lot better. I look at my husband, I see his six pack starting to really, you know, my husband was already fit, but you know, you're starting to see more muscle definition with him. And the same for me, I'm starting to see muscle definition in my legs where I have never, ever, ever seen that before. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I think that's it. I think I rambled on long enough about this. But anyway, I, again, I, I highly recommend it to you. Um, it doesn't matter your fitness level. Even though to tell you it's not for beginners, the thing about it is, is just to do the best that you can and then uh, progress as you can. So, all right, I think I've rambled on, enough, on long enough. So this is Lissandra Everett signing off, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.